welcome back to another vlog and I'm trying something new today for this vlog I'm going to use a storyboard kind of technique sometimes when I'm trying to be present in a moment I kind of forget to vlog or I'll you know try to record because I'm stumbling trying to find the camera record afterward and miss the moment and that's not what life is about life is about being present and I want to share my life with you all and so now I can just be present in the moment if I capture the moment and then if I don't get a great audio or whatever I could just narrate but it'll have a kind of mix of both me narrating as well as videos welcome back to my channel so first this vlog is about spring break spring break is technically in my family two things the spring break is also the linda's birthday and for this birthday we didn't go out of town we didn't hit a beach we didn't go um to a theme park we just stayed in town one because i just started grad school maybe a week before and two because my finances if you see my 40 by 40 goals i have some financial goals i want to accomplish by my 40 by my 40th birthday if you haven't seen that video check out that vlog i'll link it now and you can check out that vlog and understand where I'm coming from. So basically, I'm saving money. So it's been two months in that to that goal. And going on vacation is the anti of saving money. I really do want to plan something for the summer because we all need vacations. But first, my priority was not to spend money, but actually pay off a credit card, which I did. So kudos to that. So we did a low-key kind of birthday, which was cool because um, we stayed in town. So first we went to go see the movies, Ghostbusters 3, which was epic. I actually saw the movie afterward, but the um, fire alarm went off in the theater. We are live at the theaters and the fire alarm went off mid movie. So I'm thinking it's a part of the movie. Then I'm also thinking, get up and haul ass. So I hauled ass and apparently the popcorn machine smoke set off the fire. And so here we are, walking back in the movie theater. And hopefully, all is good. I tried to go back again with the girls, but they were like so over at Ghostbusters and the movies at that time. So I didn't push it. And besides, my time outside of school and work is very limited. So they didn't want to go outside, whatever. So our next big thing was um, we went to church on that Sunday, and I was got the opportunity to see a young artist, a cellist. She's beautiful. Here's her performance. Then that Tuesday was the Linda's birthday, so we went to the youth fair. The youth fair is different from when I was um, younger. When um, it's d way, definitely way more expensive. I had to spend like two hundred dollars. It was forty dollars for an all day ticket pass plus entry. Delinda brought two of her friends with us as well. So it was Delinda, her two friends, Fasan and me, and. Overall, I had a cute time. In my, I mean, I just went for the food and the chaperone, let's be honest. But it was cute. We did the rides. I enjoyed the music. And, um, yeah, we also went to the petting zoo, which, of course, I saw my favorite. <laughs>
And after that, I did pretty much nothing. I just studied like always and take tests and got ready for um, Easter Sunday. It was Resurrection Sunday. And Resurrection Sunday is also a very important Sunday in the Christian faith. And we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We acknowledge that he died for our sins and through him we are saved. And so it's very much important and always been important in my life. It's also the kind of like birth of spring, spring dresses, spring fashion. And of course, I'm a fashion girl, so of course I would go for the looks, but it's just an experience. And to be present in the Lord and church on each Sunday, it's, it's a special moment for me. And I thought it was a special experience for all who was there. But this Sunday was also special because not only because it's Easter Sunday, but because it was also, it is also an election year. I get to meet Senator Hopeful Stanley Campbell. And after talking with him and also going to um, his website, StanleyForFlorida.com, or is it .org? I'm not sure, but StanleyForFlorida.com or .org, one of them, you really see that he really does care about Florida and that. And I actually volunteer for his campaign. So you're going to see more content of me helping out with the campaign. So I'll just leave you all with some inspirational music from Resurrection Sunday. And I'll talk to you all next vlog. Love you and see you later. Oh